Recently, I discovered Sotol, a northern Mexican spirit that I absolutely fell in love with. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Matador Norteño, which is an amazing cocktail that uses Sotol as its base. Recently, I got a bottle of this amazing spirit called Sotol. Sotol is a northern Mexican, and some would say even Texan, spirit that is made from a plant that kind of looks like an agave plant, but it's not really. It's called the Sotol, or in English it translates like desert spoon. Um, its flavor is a little reminiscent of mezcal. It's kind of like if mezcal and tequila kind of met in the middle. So you get some of those grassy, uh, fresh elements from a good tequila with some smoke of like a good mezcal. I will be doing a whole video on what Sotal is, uh, so keep an eye out for that. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a cocktail called the Matador Norteño. Norteño meaning uh, of the north, so uh, Northern Matador. So yeah, it's a pretty badass name. Um, and because Sotal comes from Northern Mexico, pretty cool. But if you're new here, my name is Louie and welcome to my channel. On this channel, I post cocktail videos. I talk about my favorite spirits. I teach you how to become a better bartender and drink maker, and I talk about what it's like to own my own restaurant and bar, so if any of that sounds interesting to you, come on over here, hit that subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon to never miss out on any of the videos that I post. But all right, let's get back to this amazing cocktail, the Matador Norteño. I love saying that, Norteño. It has just like a ring to it. But all right, it is a shaken cocktail, so we're gonna grab our little shaker. This cocktail is a pretty simple one, actually. It is, we're gonna be doing three quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice, We are going to be doing three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, which we will do very freshly with our citrus juicer. Put our lemon half in, one half of our lemon in here. So we're gonna be doing three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice as well. Kind of a small lemon, so I need to do a second half. Alrighty. We're going to do a half ounce of agave syrup. Uh, this is a syrup that I make by doing two parts agave to one part water, just to kind of make it more of a syrup rather than like a nectar. And we're gonna do a half ounce of this. And last but not least, probably the most important part, we are gonna be using uh, Bitterman's Hellfire Shrub Bitters. It is a, uh, a habanero bitter, so this is gonna give it a little bit of spice. We're gonna do about three to four. I like my stuff spicy, so I'm actually gonna do five um, dashes of our habanero uh, bitters. You can do like a habanero tincture or anything like that, but I have Bitterman's Hellfire Shrub, which I personally love and use on our menu here at Labaretas, so I figured I'll use that. All right, and then we are going to top this bad boy off with some ice and give it a good long shake. Oh, I forgot to add the sotal. That would make sense as to why this felt very light. We're gonna do two ounces of our sotal. Uh, I swear, sometimes I would forget my head if it wasn't attached to my body. That's more like it. Much heavier, I felt something was off. All right, we're gonna pop that open and double strain into a coupe. And double strain into our coupe. So I actually found this recipe when I was just Googling so tall cocktails on Google and it popped up, I tried it, I absolutely loved it. And the bartender who came up with it is Alex Valencia. So I do wanna give credit where credit's due. This is a beautiful, delicious cocktail that I've actually been drinking almost every night, about one to end every single one of my shifts. So Alex Valencia, thank you so much for coming up with this amazing cocktail. And to all of you, I highly recommend it if you can give it a shot. I know Sotal is not exactly the most uh, easy to find spirit um, and not everybody has access to a liquor distributor like I do, but if you can get a bottle of Sotal, try it. It's amazing, I'm a big fan and I'm gonna explore a lot more of it. But all right, enough of my rambling, let's get back to tasting the cocktail. That's why you're here, right? So. Let's get to it. But before we take a sip of it, let's just look at it. It's a nice yellowy uh, color, nice little uh, head of foam at the top, and then let's give it a taste. Wow. It's, it's so good. 
The Sotal is, has that like earthy, smoky flavor, but not overwhelmingly so like Mezcal, because you do still get some of that freshness from it. The pineapple really works super well with that earthy smokiness, and the lemon juice helps to brighten it up a little bit with that citrus. The habanero uh, bitters are just such a great touch because you have basically a little bit of tart from the pineapple and the lemon. You have the smoke from the Sotal and the earth from the Sotal. You also have the spice from the habanero. So you get a very layered cocktail all within a very, very simple recipe. Um, and the agave, of course, helps sweeten it up a little bit and make it nice and uh, uh, balanced. Um, excellent, excellent, amazing cocktail uh, and one that I am so happy that I discovered. There you have it, guys, the Matador Norteño. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the absolute world to me if you can come on over here, hit that like button, and leave me a comment down below. I love making these videos, but I also do run a restaurant full time. So if you do want to see more of these videos, help me out. Help me get shown to more people on YouTube that way so that I can keep doing this. It's very difficult to both create content full time and run a restaurant. It's incredibly difficult. And so if you could just help me out, I would really appreciate it. But that's enough from me. I have an amazing cocktail to get back to and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.